Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my favorite matchup of all time. It is Rainer versus Clem. Liquid Clum versus Liquid Clem. As Rainer renamed himself to uh, Liquid Clum. It was spelled like this, I believe. Played against uh, Liquid Clem, which well, I can't type, apparently. That was supposed to say L-I, but instead it uh, had a very open-mouthed, surprised emoji. Also a fun time. Two drones are on the way for Rainer. No early pools here. Clem is, I think, my favorite player at the moment. Uh, of course, I have a little bit of foreigner bias. Otherwise, maybe I'd pick uh, some Cure also. I really like Cure. I don't know why, but it's just so easy to cheer for Terrence for whatever reason. Terrence also, it feels like they have more distinct styles than the other races. Like all the Zergs, they make units and blah de blah de blah. But I don't know, with the Terrence, with Cure, you can see things that only he does and with Clem you can see that he's the only one that is as aggressive as he is you know and with Maru who likes this style more and with innovation who likes to do the mid game timings it feels like the styles for Terran are just so much more distinct it's so fun to watch it's easy to cheer for these guys um, so we have the first barracks being constructed here out of Clem Clem and Rainer of course in real life uh, relatively okay friends I think they get along just fine both of each uh, other calling the other one, the kid. It's a little bit of a battle who the kid really is at this point. At first they start, it initially started with the, the old people, the old guard calling Cheryl the kid when he was winning everything. Then Rainer became the kid and then Clem started winning and Rainer started calling Clem the kid. So who really is the kid now? I don't know. Mm. No one really wants to have that name, I guess. He was similar with Billy the kid. I'm not sure if Billy the Kid actually was a cowboy. I so when I was a young boy, I really liked the 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 Lucky Luke comics, and there was a comic there with Billy the Kid in it, um, where there's like a little yellow book in which uh, it basically or like a, a little booklet about Billy the Kid, and there's these two young boys that I think kind of follow Billy the Kid around and tell him uh, what he should be doing according to the book. And I remember reading this comic and never finding it again. I remember Googling for it a while ago as well, but I couldn't quite, quite find it. And the other day I was in the library and I saw a comic section and I saw Lucky Luke and I was considering looking for it because I really wanted to read it again because I, I, I can't remember where I read it or how I read it. Maybe I just made it up and it's all in my imagination. But yeah, Billy the Kid. I think it was an actual cowboy, like a little girl cowboy, a criminal in the, the Western times. In America. I can't remember if he liked being called the kid or if he also disliked it. Ah, that's where I came from, from the kid. Sometimes I wonder how my uh, brain makes the connections, but this one actually was relatively straightforward. If any of you is a big Lucky Luke fan and you happen to know uh, which, uh, which comic exactly I'm talking about, please leave the title in the comments below and have a look at it. Fantastic comic by the way, Lucky Luke and Asterix. I love these books as a kid. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Now I don't read much too many comics anymore. Uh, not into the, the animes either, or the manga, whatever they're called. I always like the Lucky like, Luke Asterix. And a couple of others as well, but I can't quite remember what they were called. Mainly Asterix. Big fan, huge fan even. Anyway, we see the opener here for Clem. Triple CC opener into uh, Banshees. With cloak, double Hellion coming out as well. Well, it's probably going to be six cars into triple Rex from here on out. If I know Clem a little bit, and I do know Clem a little bit, we actually spent some time together back in uh, early 2020. We stayed for 10, 12 days at the Team Liquid training facility, and we spent a lot of time together practicing, <coughs> also doing other things, of course. Very impressive. We had this uh, arcade machine, which had a game called, I think it was called Street Slammers or something like that, which is a game from, I think, either the mid 90s or the late 80s on the arcade machine, one on one. I think it was three on three or four on four basketball. And Clem absolutely, at first he was pretty bad. It was mainly me and Mana, who was also in Liquid, played this game of Crapton. Um, but after a while, Clem just kind of figured it out. And he became the king of dunking. He just knew exactly what to do, how to do it, and how to win. And well, the rest of us weren't as interested in playing anymore. Of course, we could still get him with some cheeky three-pointers. Mm -hmm. 
as I'm saying this, we see Clem uh, pushing back these queens a little bit. Cloak is about to finish up the bench. He has moved forward here towards the front. And one of these queens is going to fall. Transfuse was available or barely not available. Cloak is being used right now. Overseer morphs immediately as well. As uh, Clem is looking to deal a lot of damage with these cars and this alley. And even though he opened up with triple CC, barracks 4 and 5 are going down. We have two eBays already pumping out upgrades like their life depends on it. Cars once again getting a little bit of damage. Units lost tap, 525 resources lost here for Raynor against zero on the side of Clem. And now the Banshees are looking for damage and they, well, won't find it. They might actually damage one of the queens, but they're going for the wrong queen. Yep, no shot, my friend. Absolutely no shot. The Banshees get pushed back. Creep spread continues, and we have nine queens on the side of Raynor. Baneling Nest is being built as well. A little bit of a depot wall here on the third base. Small supply block for Clem. It's going to be moving out ASAP. Ooh, armory going down a little bit earlier, which means that the first push... Uh, is going to be held together with these cars. I was going to say he'll need to repair the cars. Actually goes for the... What is that? What are you doing? Uh, going for the Banshees first. Yep, there we go. Needs to repair the cars ASAP. First two Medifex. Well, first Medifex is about to finish up. Second Medifex still a solid 18, 17 seconds away from uh, completing as well. As these cars are being all repaired. Ba Banshees will stay at home to most likely deal with the threat of a run-by. And these scars will join to turn into help. That's where I can only imagine that is going to be the case. Yep, there we go. Otherwise, that fast armory doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not that fast. It's about 20 seconds too early. But still, at the high level, 20 seconds too early is not that common. Cars not quite turned into helmets yet, though. No banings here either. I think there was a pretty okay trade there for Clem. Now we see these cars turning into helmets. But all these marines are so low already. Banings are done. 1-1 one, one is about to finish up for Clem. Decent splits, but not the greatest. And I think Clem for now is pushed back. We'll see where the second... Ooh, it's going to be a mind drop. I was going to say, we'll see where the, the, the second uh, move out will go to. Usually eight marines or something will drop over here. But instead, we see two mines in the medevac. 132 supply against 141. Upgrades are ahead for Clem by a fair amount as a mine drop is heading in towards the third base. Or was that? That was the third base, not the fourth. Raynor known for his quick responses. Let's see how fast he is this time. He doesn't quite respond yet, actually. And these mines are actually going to deal a little bit of damage. Five workers going down, eight workers going down, and one of these mines even gets picked up here. Eight workers is a decent amount of damage here. One mine burrowing forward will not be able to get the, the claws in the ground, will not be able to shoot his shot. Command center here being constructed in the middle for Clem. Eight minutes into the game, drilling claws is on the way, which means second factory is done as well. Three mine production is, uh, is ready. And we see it being used immediately. Four, five medifacts are out. Seven mines are out already. And the two Banshees remain at home to defend for potential runbys. But Raynor hasn't been able to send any runby out on the map yet. As Raynor hasn't been able to really get to the other side of the map. Clam has been in a fantastic shape this game. Has been controlling the pace of the game completely. We'll see if... Uh if Rainer can push it back, he's going to be losing a little bit of creep here at least. Two Banix are moving forward, Mines burrow and scares off uh, quite enough here. Mine retarget. Ooh, it's a big hit on himself. A lot of Marines going down here. We have another push forward here. Drilling Claws has finished up, so these Mines will burrow rapidly at this point. One Mine shoots, second Mine shoots. None of these Queens are going to be going down. Reaper Grenade actually being used in that fight. Five kills on that single Reaper being very useful. Two drops. Uh, going towards the right side and we see this is the beauty of rotation so rotation towards the middle of of the map right here while sending two drops to that right side kind of walking away from where he was before and telling rainer hey look buddy i'm going to the left side send your units there rainer right now sending his entire army to the left side while the double drop is heading straight into this fifth and there's nothing really in position mines will be able to burrow marines will be able to deal a fair amount of damage for mines is a very high mine count by the way i think some of these queens will end up falling two queens go down so far two mines still capable of shooting as well uh, that mine is gonna die though five workers have gone down there's still four marines on this left side 
Lurker then is on the way, so is the Carapace upgrade. And it feels like Rainer is kind of stabilizing right now. The creep spread isn't as good as it used to be. Clem has been making sure of that. He's been ensuring himself a lot of damage. There's no spores here. No, well, there's a single spore on the right side, but no spores at the fourth base. And that could be a potentially big deal. There's no Overseer yet either. And here come the Banshees. They're going to be going straight into this fourth base. If Clem pays attention, which right now he isn't, Overseer should be pulled back. Oh, Clem, such a juicy, juicy mineral line over here. Instead, he's going to be taking out the Extractor. It's a little bit painful. Of course, Clem doesn't know that there's no spore here. The last time he saw there was a spore. That spore moved to the right side. And now, well, he's going to, he's not even going to get the Extractor. So that's also a little bit painful. Once again, rotates to where the far right side is. Has a lot of mines with this army as well. Look at this mic though. Look at this control out of Raynor. Absolute beauty. Li Ooh, that was a big hit. That was a big hit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That was a lot of links that went down there. 102 drones on the map here for Raynor. As the marines on the left side once again are going in as well. The single queen gets taken out. The spore will help out taking... Uh, or putting out a little bit of damage on these medivacs. Yes, the overseer needs to once again clean up. Links and Banes and Queens usually on cleanup duty, but without the Overseer it becomes difficult. The Overseer is the, the shovel that is required to do any cleaning up, to do any digging whatsoever. So we see this army being pushed back, lurkers uh, in the front lines as well right now. So these drops are also being pushed back and Clam needs to start being careful. We see factory production on the way, do we have a Ghost Academy yet? Mm, yeah, we, do. we actually do have a Ghost Academy. Are we on 8 racks? Of course we are on 8 racks. We are on double factory still. I wouldn't mind a third factory, but for now Clem will be adding Liberators, Tanks and Ghosts. We have a tiny run by here going towards the third base. That shouldn't be able to do too much. Good Umburrow there out of Clem. These Banelings need to detonate on top of the mine and Clem will be moving up to six bases right now. Uses a boost on these Metafacts, but doesn't go anywhere. It's uh, not the greatest move. A no waste of energy there. Ooh, I think this base might just die if uh, Clem isn't careful. Uh, there seems to be enough units here. Plenty of units around. How many uh, orbital commands are we at currently, Clem? Where are three orbital commands currently. We have one more in production. This planetary is actually falling pretty low. Adrenal Clan's not quite done yet, though. Oh, that was painful. Adaptive Talents is done. I wouldn't have minded hold fire on these lurkers, honestly. We have a big run by into that. I can't even keep track of this. In the third base, the drop heading from the from the what was it, the sixth into the third into the natural spore after spore, uh, taking their pot shots onto these medivacs. Rainer not paying attention, otherwise this would have been a dead medivac for sure because of the queen. Rainer is too focused on the aggression here. Lots of mines sprawled around the right side of the map. Mines are moving forward as well. Bros in the floor, bros in the ground. Eight workers, not a bad. It's not a bad shot, honestly. For three mines, maybe not quite worth it, but still a big shot. A couple of snipes are going down as well. <coughs> as these rocks are being taken out as we speak. Three tanks on the map and Rainer. I think is in firm control of this game right now. He's up in workers. He has his six bases. He's doing a good job uh, controlling the pace of the game. This base is going to be going down as well. There's one more mine here that might get a decent hit. No, it's only going to get three links and then we'll die. Lurkers moving towards the left side of the map. These lurkers are going to fall before they even get the burrow though. This might be a base for a base. Uh, eye for an eye. Good little trades here for Clem. I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. Let's not forget that if we're actually working towards a true split map scenario where both players get six bases, as I just showed, is that the unit lost is always in favor of Terra in these situations. Zerg needs to win by taking good fights and then using that momentum in order to push through. If Terran uh, dies, then they lose. But if Terran stays alive and they get as many bases as the Zerg, eventually the units lost are just too important. We see Rainer trying to kind of undo that natural advantage that Terrans have by getting the bottom right base, which is naturally a Terran base, but at the same time, Clam has already taken out this one, so I'm not even sure how well... Ooh, ah, good mine shots. Oh my good lord, that was a fantastic mine shot. How many kills was that on that mine? One, 16 and three. 16 kills on one mine. 
It's what, eight sets of links? 400. 400 minerals in one shot. It's not, it's not a bad investment there for a two supply unit. Holy crap. Liberator's gonna show up. Do we have the range upgrade on the Liberator? The answer is no. Two queens should be capable of taking out this Liberator before it does much of anything. Even a single queen will go down here. Clem immediately rotating towards the right side of the map. Is there enough Bane links here for Rainer? 28 Bane links. I think there is enough Bane links. They're just not... How did that not die? How did... Oh my god, there's no melee attacks. They're plus one. Or well, they were plus one. Now they're plus two. Moving in. Where's the Bane link count for... Where is the Bane link count? Bane links were kind of out of position. And now they're coming in. But it's a little bit too late. Um, a lot of these ghosts already have dealt a lot of damage. I don't think quite Clem was paying attention there. It's going to be splitting the ghost for now. 166 supply against 158. Clem moving forward. And this was a fantastic fight. Look at that. 12k up in the units lost after. Well, I guess 12k down. But being down is being up. So it's a positive development for him. That's for sure. We have another uh, scan snipe combination. And this base is going to get taken out. Rainer is going to be moving into... Oh, this is half a base. Half a base, half a base, no base. One and a half base territory here. Snipes on the drones, a little bit greedy here by Clem. That's not quite necessary. A lot of these medevacs are low as well. Needs to be careful that he doesn't lose a full one. I don't think he did. 135 supply to 187. And Clem magically turning this game around. Beautiful play out of him. I don't think there's any scans uh, remaining. Oh, you just right click it right Clem. Yeah, definitely can. Building armor, vehicle weapons on the way. Seven more lurkers here being constructed for Vayner. As a single lurker is annoying the crap out of Clem. One lurker just went down. Come on, give us a scan, buddy. Give us a scan. Five orbital commands. All of them right now will be getting their scans back again. I think there's three scans available total. Which means that these will be going down. Nice burrow forward out of these... Uh, these cheeky, these cheeky, woo, scan. These cheeky lurkers. Or of the mine, sorry. Out of the mines. Yeah, that was just in a fantastic position here. 50 more army supply. Probably he's going to have superior eco as well. He's going to be en end up losing 10 workers. And hasn't been, hasn't mewed in a, in a while either. Lots of snipes on these overlords. 191 supply against 146. This base is going to be going down. We have a mine drop. Oh my god, that is a lot of workers going down. There are 18 workers going down on the side of Rainer. And Rainer is in a dying position right now. These SCVs feel it as well. They're getting ballsy, perhaps a little bit too ballsy. As SCV is not quite good enough. Do we have another scan here? Clem, do we have another scan here? Lurker's like, no, I don't care. I want to attack the planetary. There we go. Scan happens, 130 supply to 187. I'm not feeling it here for Rainer, ladies and gentlemen. We have another mine shot. God, six. I think there was six kills on this one, all of it. Maybe he had one before, so maybe five. That was a lot of kills. Lynx will be able to clean this up as well as the sixth base here is being taken for Clem. And Clem is... Uh, with that sixth base will just secure his victory, I think. Because if that sixth base goes up... He's going to have outmined his opponent by a lot. He will be out trading his opponent for the entirety. <gasps> oh my god, the trick, the play. Oh my god, the scan just in time. Oh, that would have been the sickest trick. The hold position lurker. That would have been the sickest thing if that had worked out. What a clutch scan there out of Clem, realizing something was off. That is game sense right there, because there was almost no creep remaining. A couple of snipes going down. That could have completely changed the game. Now we have another lurker uh, run by coming in. Uh, a parasitic bomb not quite going to be good enough here. A couple of medevacs are going to take a lot of damage. A couple of medevacs are even going to fall as well. As Clem's micro on those medevacs wasn't quite brilliant. Yeah, can we get a couple of snipes? No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. The trick, of course, is to queue up as many snipes as you can. And that's exactly what Clem does as he takes this game. Rainer taps out. And uh, that's the end of it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And we'll see you all next time for a new video. Bye-bye.